Hey everyone, this is Nathan Allen from Poets and Quants. I'm an editor and staff writer, and this is a continuation of our alumni one-on-one -on -one interviews. And for this session, we have Amari Geisinger, who just graduated recently from the University of California, Los Angeles, UCLA, Anderson School of Management. And she is working now as a partner marketing manager for Google based in their Los Angeles office. Mari, how are you today? I'm doing well, I'm doing well, thank you, and yourself? Good, good. It's good to have you. Thanks again for being here and thanks for doing this. Um, yeah, of so let's, let's go back um, as far back as you wanna go in terms of your path that led you to Anderson. So interest in business, maybe what you did in undergrad and early career and how that led to you choosing, first of all, just to get the MBA. Mm -hmm. Sure. Well, I studied economics in undergrad and I thought I was going to go and get a PhD and be a professor, which I don't know where that came from. I guess I come from a family of professors, but um, I ended up getting an internship in marketing for iHeartRadio. And I was like, wait, this is way more fun than econ. Like, <laughs> this is cool. And so um, I actually had I graduated from school with an offer to work at iHeart and I enjoyed it. I, I thought I wanted to do it, but I got a different job offer at a startup in New Zealand. And so I thought it would be really awesome to get some global experience. So I packed up and moved out to New Zealand to work in media strategy on a startup. And um, I did that for about a year and a half. And um, after that, I was like, this is pretty cool, you know, like, but the budgets were small at a startup and I knew that I wanted to work with a bigger budget and maybe like a big marquee brand. And so I moved home to LA and um, began my, I guess, my agency career at OMD. And I started on Infinity, on the Nissan Infinity account. And then shortly after that, I moved over to um, Consumer Electronics on the Beast by Dre and Apple Music account. And so while I was there, I was like, I really enjoyed tech and entertainment and this intersection. And um, I actually enjoyed my client's role and I thought his job was so cool. <laughs> and um, I learned that he actually went to business school. He went to Wisconsin. And um, that's kind of what kicked off my, my interest in looking into business school. And then um, as I was kind of thinking through it, I did a pre-MBA program actually called MBA Prep from um, MLT. And I learned a lot more about types of business schools, career paths, and all of those things um, in that phase. And that's ultimately what helped me figure out that I really wanted to be at, at UCLA. Yeah, great. Thanks. And I, I want to ask you about New Zealand, but in, <laughs> and because of time, we'll just go ahead and jump to... Uh, <laughs> the business school part um, okay. but it is it is interesting that you spent about a year in new zealand working at a startup i thought that was fascinating yeah. <laughs> uh, probably looked good on the mba application as well um, yeah <laughs> so whenever you started looking at business schools obviously being in the la area anderson is a logical choice were there any other schools that you were looking at and what specifically were you looking for in a business school that you you wanted to attend Sure. So um, I didn't do like traditional business school, con like career path. I, I wasn't doing like banking or consulting. So I knew that I wanted to work in mar marketing, but like tech and entertainment marketing. So when I was looking at business schools, it was really important for me to be in a city that I felt like I could network in, that had the industries that I was interested in. I didn't really want to be like remote, far away, and really dependent on my summer internship to make those connections. And so what I found was I was in between two cities, really. One is LA and the other was New York. And so um, I visited both um, and I visited Columbia, NYU. And, um, but I think the access to tech in LA and entertainment just was, it resonated more with me. And then when I got to UCLA, actually, the people really sold it for me. I mean, the campus felt like a family reunion my first day I was there. Everyone was just so awesome. I was like, wait, this is this is this is a thing. And then they're like, Yeah, this is great. And we surf. And I don't I don't surf yet still. <laughs> but I thought it was just a really cool way to do business school and like in LA and um, have access to the industries that I wanted. And UCLA afforded me the opportunity to do um, internships while I was in school. So I actually interned at NBC Universal at NBC Universal for um, some time when I was in school. 
And um, I think that was a really great way for me to bridge my agency experience with like product marketing experience to help me um, get to the product marketing role that I ended up with at Google after graduating. Yeah, Brentwood's a super cool neighborhood and kind of in there with, with everything. Um, so mm -hmm. it, is a, it is a good location. Um, yeah, it's, it's awesome. And I think, you know, it's cool too, because it's LA, like you have so many great speakers that live here already. So many like guest lecturers. I mean, Peter Goober was our professor, you know, so like we're in like the NBA finals watching like the game and he's like teaching us about sports management, you know, and I think that that's very unique um, compared to some of the other schools. And um, what other thing was that a lot of the alum live in LA. And I, I like the, that all of that together, that combination worked very well for me and what I was trying to do. Yeah, totally. So you might have already started to answer this, um, but I'm going to go ahead and maybe there'll be some other things that you'll think of whenever I'm asking this question. But um, I'm sure you had some sort of idea of what the school was going to be like whenever you got there. Were there any surprises or anything uh, that popped up that you learned that you didn't expect to learn or expect to happen? in the first few months of your, your program there? Some things that popped up. Um, I think that understanding like the teaching style, you know, like some schools are completely like case method the whole time, some are like partial. I didn't really know what I liked. <laughs> and so I didn't know which style I wanted. And so I learned like, I don't like the case method that much. I, I mean, depending on the class, yeah. but I enjoy like, like, like the learning team experience and then lecturing and going and being able to like work it out with your with your learning team but the case method was a little tricky for me <laughs> yeah yeah and then you probably started to answer this a little bit too but i'm wondering if you could go into any more detail or like some experiences that you remember of just like highlights that you think set the anderson experience apart from other mba schools and other experiences at uh, different business schools yeah, so I, I kind of touched on it, but I think the thing is um, really access to the industry. Like I enjoyed learning from Peter Goober. Like I was in a sports marketing class where our one of our projects was actually to de design a marketing campaign. This is when the Chargers first moved to LA. And so like, how do you have two NFL teams? What does the strategy look like? And we're able to like go down to the Rams facility and like engage with the teams that are thinking through these things and how to market to NFL teams in one city. And so having like the real life experience um, was awesome. Also, I, I did like a campaign, a marketing campaign on um, Girls Trip, which is like one of my favorite movies, but we actually like pitched to the, to the studios. And yeah. so it, it's just interesting because you're actually here and everything's just a, a short drive away. And it just makes it feel like you can take what you learn in the classroom and really apply it to the like, real world business scenarios. Sure, yeah. And then beyond professional and, and developing like business skills and networking, those sorts of things, um, I think some people view business school as a time to grow personally. Um, and so I'm wondering if that was something that you tried to do and if you have any examples in that of just you know growing as a person outside of just the professional business side of things yeah i mean is business school is one of the best decisions i ever made and personally and professionally but i think um what it caused me to do is really take a hard look at what i wanted to do and like how i wanted to get there and so I guess this kind of leads to the more professional side, but um, I had to really think through like, what do I want to do next? Do I want to be a product marketer? You know, like what does that look like in 10 years? And um, what does my network look like in 10 years? And then um, on the professional, I mean, on the personal side, I was able to just take a break, you know, like, and then explore other things. I had these goals of like loving finance in business school. It didn't work, but um, yeah. I thought I was going to like, come out on the other side, like loving finance and accounting and all these other things. But I was able to really wrap my head around these other parts of business that I wasn't privy to because I work mostly in pro promotional marketing at an agency. And so, um, which, but I was able to take like real estate investing classes and those things, which um, definitely encouraged me to buy my first, my first um, property and to get into trying to build out a real estate portfolio. So these other things that I kind of learned and the people that I met along the way, oh my goodness, like you meet so many cool people in business school and you get to travel. <laughs> the trips were amazing. I, I feel bad for the next class because of COVID, but um, 
we get to go on really cool trips and you just get so close to people and, and we're adults so it's not like undergrad anymore right. but i think business school allows you this like opportunity to really get close to a different group of people and um get to know them intimately in a way that you have like lasting friendships forever um yeah that was that was my experience i highly recommend it i mean it's it's probably like one of the most transformative experiences of my life yeah yeah and then you know switching to the kind of career side of things obviously google is one of the companies that a lot of people want to work for um just because of how prolific it is and the working um, environment that they have there and it's it's a popular company so what were some things that really helped you land a job at google in terms of uh, you know, what you're learning or experiencing at Anderson? Um, I think being intentional about what you want to do. Like I knew that I wanted to be a product marketer. I knew I wanted to get to Google. And so I had to think about what that path looked like coming from a uh, media strategy. You know, what did I need to do to bridge the gap? What, what like skills that I need to strengthen to get there. And I think business school allows you like this two years to kind of think through how you're going to do that, whether it's in like a consulting project that at Anderson, we have AMR. So you can like kind of sharpen some skills around like, um, like a capstone project or special classes. And for me, I did internships and just thinking very thoughtfully about how to get to the next level, um, especially if you're trying to like change positions or industries. And so I think um, that was really helpful for me thinking about how to get to Google. Yeah, great. And then lastly, what advice do you have for MBA applicants? Um, one, take the GMAT early. <laughs> um, take it as early as possible. Um, that, and one thing I will say is don't get too caught up in like rankings. Um, I had a lot of friends applying to business school at the same time because I did do a pre-MBA program and I saw a lot of people just getting caught up on rankings and it's, there's not, there's not one way to get to where you want to go. And I think it's awesome to have, you know, like schools with like very prestigious names on your resume and whatnot, but also like your experience is yours and the people you meet in business school are your friends forever. And I think that, you know, not you may not find that at the number one, number two school. It may be at a number four, number five school, but just kind of think about where you want to go after business school, what really fits you personally. And like, um, if it all works out, great. It, it did for me. I um, I love my experience. I loved where I got to live. I didn't have to be in the snow, no shade to the, the schools in the snow. <laughs> but, um, and I, and I was able to get to where I want to go. So just be a little bit more thoughtful and look, look deeper into where you want to go than just rankings. Yeah, totally. Great advice. As a publication that does rankings, we totally agree with that. Rankings are just <laughs> just one little piece of the of a much bigger package. So thanks for pointing that out. Um, yeah, those were the questions that we had for you. Is there anything else that that we might have missed about your journey and your experience at Anderson? Um. No, I think that's it. Anderson's awesome. I love them. They are literally like you. Really have a family there. Um, and LA is just a great place to be in business school. There's no shortage of things to do around here. Great. All right. Well, thanks so much, Amari, for your time. Again, this is Amari Geisinger, got her MBA from UCLA Anderson School of Management and is now working at Google. Amari, thanks so much. Thank you.